Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all well. Today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute Easter chick coming out of an egg. So this is what it looks like. Um, and before we start, this is going to be quite a complicated pattern. So if you haven't done any peyote stitch before, or you're a beginner, I would say to learn a bit about the stitch maybe before trying it because it's such a long process to make this. Um, and so instead of letting the video be hours long, I'm going to try and when possible kind of guide you on what beads to add in the row but not go through it bead by bead. So I just wanted to warn you of that before we start. So. What you'll need to make one of these is some size 11 seed beads in yellow for the chick, orange for the beak, just two black ones for the eyes and some white for the egg. You'll need your beading thread and I'm using six pound fire line in crystal and you do need one that's kind of going to have hold its structure because there's nothing in the middle of this so want to make sure it's holding its structure by itself. For the amount you're just going to need to kind of cut as much as you can work with because when I did this I did have to add thread more than once. It takes a lot of thread so um, I don't know an exact amount but I'm just going to work with a long piece of thread until it runs out and then add a new one and you need your beading needle. That's everything so let's get started. So I've cut a long piece of thread and I don't know exactly how much we need for this because last time I had to keep adding thread as I went. Um, and you're going to start by picking up four of your yellow beads, slide those down onto your needle, all the way down until you've just got about five or six inches so you can tie a knot at the end. And sew up through the first bead. So we have this, now picking up one. Coming out of this one on the bottom, go straight through the one on the side. Picking up one, coming out of this one and go straight through the next one. Picking up one, coming out the one on the top, go straight down through the one on the other side. And picking up one, coming out the one on the side, you're going to go through the one on the bottom and up into this one above. So now you have this, you've got these four beads on the corner. So this time picking up two. Coming out of this one, skip over one, go through the next one. Picking up two, skip over one, and go through the next one. Okay, picking up two. Coming out here, skip over one, go through the next one. And last two of the row. So picking up two, you're coming out here, so skip over one, go through the next one, and up into the one above. Like that. Okay, so right now you have this, now we're going to put one bead in the centre of all of those points on the corner and in the spaces between those as well. So there'll be eight single beads in total. Picking up one, coming out here and going straight down through the next one. Now picking up one, skipping over one, going through the next one. Now you're between a group of two again. So picking up one, coming out here and going straight through the next one. This time picking up one, coming out here, so you're skipping over one, filling this gap and going through the next one. Picking up one and going straight down through the next one. You're picking up one, skipping over one, going through the next one. Picking up one and going straight down through the next one. 
and picking up one, skipping over one, going through the next one like always and up, stepping up into the one above like that so you're ready to add the next row. Pull that nice and tight. So we have this. So this time we're going to alternate between putting two beads and then one, then two, then one, two, one, all the way around. Start with two, so pick up two beads. We're coming out of this one, you're skipping over one, going through the next one, but sticking up. Okay, so this time picking up just one, skipping over one, going through the next one. This time picking up two, skipping over one, and going through the next one. Picking up one this time, skipping over one, through the next one. This time picking up two, skipping over one, going through the next one. Picking up one this time, skipping over one, going through the next one. This time we're picking up two, skip over one, go through the next one. And this is the last bead of the row, it's a single bead, so picking up one. Coming out here, skip over one, go through the next one and up into both of those above. So we've got that first group of two that we added in this row. You're going to go so through the next one like normal and then up through both of those. Like that. Okay, so make sure you've gone through both of that group of two. So you've got the one, two, three, four groups of two and then four single beads on the outside edge. And you wanna be coming out of one of those groups of two. This time we're gonna add just single beads. So we're gonna add eight beads in total. And all of the groups of two, you're just gonna treat them as if they're one bead. So you're gonna go through them both together. So picking up one, I'm coming out of this group of two, skipping over one, going through the next single bead. This time picking up one, skipping over one and going through that group of two, through both of those. Then picking up one, skipping over one, going through the next single bead. And now picking up one, skipping over one and going through the next group of two. Pick up one, skip over one, go through the next single bead. Picking up one, skipping over one through the next group of two. Okay, picking up one, skipping over one and going through the next single bead. And then finally picking up one, skipping over one, going through the next two like always. And this time it's the end of the row, so always at the end you step up into the next bead diagonally above. So you've got space to add more beads. So pull that tight and it should start to just curve slightly when you pull it tight like that. Okay, so this time again, we're gonna alternate between picking up one bead and two beads. So if you turn it this way on the side, you can see we're gonna be filling these gaps here. So here you're filling a gap of one bead, here you're filling a gap of two beads. So we're just gonna be doing that all the way around and you're gonna be starting with one single bead so pick up one, coming out here, skip over one, go through the next one. This time picking up two, and you're coming out here, so you're skipping over two and going through the next one. Okay, this time picking up one, skipping over one, and going through the next one. Again, this time you're picking up two. So you're skipping over two and going through the next one. Picking up one, skipping over one, through the next one. Picking up two, skipping over two, through the next one. Picking up one, skipping over one, through the next one. Picking up two, skipping over two, through the next one and because it's the end of the row if I was just to go there there'd be nowhere for me to go on the next row so as always you've got to step up as well 
into the bead above so you're right near this gap ready to add the next row. Okay and pull that tight. Okay we've got this. This time we're going to add single beads again and like last time these groups of two that you've got around the edge are going to be treated as one so go through them both together you're not splitting them down the middle with a bead. So here we are picking up one we're coming out here, skip over one, through the next two. Now picking up one, skipping over one, through the next one. Picking up one, skipping over one and going through the next two. Picking up one. Skipping over one and through the next one. Picking up what? Oh, <laughs> picking up one. Skipping over one through the next two. Picking up one, skipping over one through the next one. Pick up one, skip over one, go through two. Pick up one, skip over one. Go through the next one, like that, and it's the end of the row, so step up into the one above as well. Pull that through and pull it tight. Okay, so we're going to be doing another one of those rows now where we alternate between adding one bead and then two. One and then two. So we're going to start by picking up two beads. We're coming out here, so we're going to skip two, go through the next one. Now picking up one, skip one, go through the next one. So if you're picking up one bead, you only skip over one. If you're picking up two, you skip over two. So picking up two, skipping the two underneath and going through the next one on the top row. Picking up one, coming out here, skip over one, go through the next one. Picking up two, skipping over two, going through the next one. So keep doing that all the way around. So now you're picking up a single bead, followed by two, followed by one to get to the end of the row. So I'm just adding that last single bead in the row. So you can see I was coming out here, skip over one, go through the next one. Because it's the end of the row, we've got to step up and it's that group of two again, so you're going to step up through both of those. Make sure you're not coming out the middle of those, you want to go through both of them before you carry on. And pull it nice and tight. So we have this. This time we're just adding single beads and we're going through those groups of two again, as if they're one bead. So picking up one, skipping over one, going through the next one. Picking up one, skipping over one, going through the next two. Picking up one, skipping over one, going through the next one. Oops. Picking up one, skipping over one and through the next two. So you're going to alternate like that. Just picking up single beads and going through beads on the top row, so it's going to be through one, then the next time through two, then through one, then through two. So you're going to do that one, two, three, four more times to get to the end of the row. Okay, so we're at the end of the row and I'm just reminding you that as always, you skip over one, you're going to go through the next two, because that's where we're at at the end of the row, and up into the one above as well. So don't forget your step up every time. Pull it nice and tight. Okay, so now we have this where we've got eight single beads on the top row. So these ones here that you can see sticking up around the edge. And we've got those spaces where there's two beads in the middle and then one bead in the middle. And normally we'd add the two beads here and the one bead here. But this time we're just going to be adding single beads in all the spaces. So here where we add a single bead, it's going to kind of cinch in because we're starting to close it up. So instead of picking up the doubles 
like alternative this time. You're just adding single beads in all the gaps and going through these eight beads that are on the top row. So picking up your first one, coming out here, skipping over one, going through the next one. So picking up one, skipping over two, and going through the next one. So you alternate now between skipping over one and skipping over two. So pick up one, skip over one, through the next one. This time picking up one, skipping over two, and through the next one. So you're going to do that one, two, three, four more times to get to the end of the row. And when you do get to the end of the row, go through your last bead as always and step up into the one above, like that. Pull that nice and tight, it's going to cinch in a little bit and start to bring those beads in. So this row is just going to be regular peyote stitch, so it's just going to be coming out of a bead Pick up a bead, skip over one, and go through the next one. Picking up a bead, skipping over a bead, and going through the next one. Okay, picking up a bead, skipping over a bead, and going through the next one. So we've added three, so you need to add five more beads to get around to the end of the row. And when you do get to the end of the row, don't forget to step up into the next bead above. So right now we have this, and we're going to bring it in even further now. So this time we're going to pick up one. And you've got those, if you turn it this way, you can see you've got these beads that sit up higher than the rest. These are your eight beads on the top row. So let me turn it around this way where we're working. So picking up one, coming out of this one here and going through the next two on the top row, like that. So that one there is just going to have thread there, no bead. So when we pull it tight, these two beads are going to kind of cinch together and that's going to bring it in closer. So we're decreasing back down to four beads rather than eight. So again, picking up one, this time we're coming out here and we're going to go through the next two on the top row, like that. And again, picking up one and going through the next two on the top row. And last one, picking up one, going through the next two on the top row. So if we get lost on this last one, you, so you're coming out here, picking up a bead, skipping over one, going through the next one, and then skipping over another one and going through the next one. Because that last one is not so obvious to see where the top row is, because you've got a row above already. So that's the last one. And then it is the end of the row. So we've got nowhere to go from here, so we need to step up into the bead above. Pull that tight. Okay, so now we've just got these one, two, three, four beads that we just added and we're going to put one bead in between each of those. So the easiest way to see is if you look at it on the top, picking up one, coming out of this one, skip those two that are like on the side that we've cinched together, <laughs> go through the next one. Picking up one, coming out here, skipping these two and going through the next single bead. Picking up one, skipping over two and through the next one. Picking up one, skipping over two, through the next one and it is the end of the row so through the one after that as well. Pull it tight when you do should close up like this, so you've got those four beads in the middle. We're going to go through all four of those just to bring it all together. Okay, 
so we have this it's like a little easter egg so now we're going to add the little head onto our chick so we're nearly there with the chick so now we're going to be picking up one of your yellow so you're coming out of one of these four beads right in the middle you've got this little cross here you're coming out of this one you're going to go through the next one in that circle of four okay and do that three more times so picking up one now i'm coming out here and i'm going to go through the next one in that little group of four two more times Coming out of this one this time, picking up one and going through the one, the next one. And finally, picking up one, coming out here, going through the next one. Hopefully on your piece it's going to be easier in person to see where those four beads are than on the camera. And now we've gone through that last bead, so we, need to, we do need to step up into this bead above. Okay, so now you've got these four beads on the top that we just added. We're going to put two beads between them. So picking up two. And then coming out of this one, I'm going to go into the next one. Same again, picking up two. Coming out of this one this time, going into that next one in that group of four we just added. So you could do that two more times. The last one, you know the drill by now. <laughs> so go through your last bead like normal and step up. This time we're going to step up through both of that group of two, not just through one, through both of them. Okay, pull that through. Now we should have this. So we've got this little, try and hide the beads underneath for you. <laughs> got this little kind of, I don't know, cross where you've got these four groups of two and we're just going to put one bead in between the groups of two going through the groups of two as if they're one bead so picking up one we're coming out of these two on the side we're going to go through the two on the top picking up one so now we're coming out of the two on the top we're going to go down through the two on the side Now picking up one and we're coming out the two on the side so we're going to go across through the two on the bottom. And finally back up through the two on the side where we started and into the one above as well. And then you're going to want to pull that nice and tight and make sure those beads sit up on top. Okay so now we have this. So you've got four beads that kind of sit up higher than the rest there the four we're going to be going through so we're going to add the little well start to add the beak now so you're going to pick up two of your nice orange beak color coming out of this single bead so you're going to skip over two go through the next single bead right here like that now for the rest of the row you're going to add groups of two, one here, one here and one here going through those single beads. So pick up two, skip over two, go through the next one and do that two more times. We're going to step up into the two orange to go through both of those. Okay, pull it tight. Now we have this and now we're going to add the eyes. So starting with one black bead coming out of these two orange here you're going to skip the one on the corner and go through the next two on the side like that okay now picking up one yellow again and you're coming out of the two on the side you're going to go through the two across the top picking up one yellow you're coming out of these two at the back you're going to go down through these two on the side And picking up a black again and going through the two orange and up into the black on the other side like that okay pull it tight okay now we're just gonna be adding single beads this time not groups of two so picking up one yellow 
skipping over to and going through the next one. Picking up one, skipping over two, going through the next one. Picking up one, skipping over two, through the black one at the front, and picking up one, skipping the two orange and going through that other black one, and the one after it as well. Okay, so we have this. So you see those four beads that we just added? We're just going to put one bead in between each of those. So picking up one, I'm coming out of this one on the side, so I'm going to go through the one at the top. Picking up one and going through the next one down the side. Picking up one, going through the one at the front. And picking up one and then going through the one on the side and up into the next one as well. Okay, pull that nice and tight and those four beads that we just added you're going to circle through those so there's one two three and four pull that nice and tight and now we have this it's a little chick now i like to add one little single bead on the top because the chicks usually have a little fluffy bit on the top so to do that i just pick up one And I'm coming out of this one here. I'm going to go into the bead opposite in the same direction. So I'm coming out of this bead this way. So I'm going to go through this one that same way. Like that. Now back into that bead. And back into the bead that it's connected to over here. But it's already connected to this side. So we're going to connect it to this side. And that just kind of anchors it into place. So that's the little chick all finished. So what you need to do now is move down so you're coming out of the middle of those two orange beads. And you're just going to pick up one orange and go through the other orange bead. And the one after it, doesn't matter. Okay, and let that pop into place. So that's going to give your bird his cute little beak. So now what you need to do is travel down, follow the path that the beads have already taken, the thread's already taken, so just go down, diagonally, round. Keep going round and down until you get to the bottom. And you need to be coming out of one of these four original beads that we started with, where your tail thread should be coming out of. So go ahead and do that and I'll show you what to do. So you're coming out of one of those in that little group of four at the bottom, picking up one white coming out this one on the top so you're going to go through that next one in that group of four picking up one and going through the next one in that group of four picking up one and going through the next one and one more time picking up one Going through that last one again in that group of four and up into the first white one that we just added. Okay, now we're going to put two between each of those. So picking up two, coming out of this one, going through the next one. And do that three more times. Don't forget once you've added your last group of two to step up this time through the next two beads. got these four groups of two, top, side, bottom, side. We're going to put one bead in between each of those and also straight down the centre of those groups of two. So picking up one, skipping over one, going through the next single bead. Don't go through both of those, just through one of them. Now picking up one and going straight down through the next bead. So that's going to split that group of two in half. Like that, picking up one. Skipping over one, going through the next one. Now picking up one and going straight down through the next one. Okay, now you're going to be picking up one.
skipping over one, going through the next one, and then picking up one, coming out here and going straight down through the next bead. Picking up one, skipping over one, through the next one, and then picking up one, going straight down through the next bead. And it's the last one in the row, so also through the bead after that as well, like that. Okay, now pull that nice and tight. So now you've got these eight beads on the outside edge. They're the ones you're going to be going through. So picking up one, skipping over one, going through that next one on the outside edge. Picking up one, skipping over one, going through the next one. Picking up one, skipping over one, going through the next one. So do that five more times to get to the end of the row. And when you add the last one, don't forget to step up into the bead above as well. Okay, and when you pull that tight, make sure that the beads don't flip up this way. You want to encourage them to kind of hug round the chick. This time we're going to pick up groups of two each time, so picking up two. Coming out here, skipping over one, going through the next one. Picking up two, skipping over one, going through the next one. Okay, so do that all the way around six more times. And this time when you get to the end of the row, so I'm adding the last two, so I'm skipping over one, going through the next one like always, and up, but this time through the next two. Like that. Okay, and now pull that nice and tight. So we've got this. Okay, this row we're going to be picking up one and going through the next two. So pick up one, skip over one, go through the next two. Okay, pick up one, skip over one, go through the next two. Pick up one, skip over one, go through the next two. So do that all the way around, so you're going to need to do that five more times. And like always on the last one, step up into the bead above. Okay, so right now we have this, now we're going to put groups of two between those single beads. So you've got eight single beads and you're going to put groups of two between them. So picking up two, skipping over two, going through the next single bead. Picking up two, skip over two, go through the next single bead. Okay, so do that six more times till we get to the end of the row. So I'm just adding those last two in that row, so going through the next single bead and up into the two above this time. Like that. This time we're going to add groups of two in between the groups of two, so you're going to be picking up two. Skipping over one and going through two. Okay. So picking up two. Skipping over one, going through two. So do that all the way around six more times. Okay, so I'm at the end of this row, so I'm just adding my last two. So I'm skipping over one, going through the next two, like always. And then I'm going to need to step up, so... I'm going to step up through the next two beads this time. Okay, next row we're just adding single beads, so you're going to be picking up one, skipping over two and going through two. Again, picking up one, skipping over two and going through two. Okay, picking up one. Skipping over two, going through two. Let's go ahead and do that five more times till we get to the end of the row. And that last one can be a bit confusing, so you're picking up your one again. Skipping over two, going through two. And up into the one above. Okay, so that's the end of that row. 
and you want to pull that nice and tight okay so we have this at the moment so you can really start with your shell wherever you want I've just got a couple more rows left to do so this time we're going to put groups of two between those single beads we just added so picking up two coming out here you're going to skip over two go through the next single bead Okay, picking up two, skipping over two and going through the next single bead. Okay, and this is really going to kind of close it in a bit when you pull it tight at the end. So do that all the way around, picking up two, skipping over two, go through the next one. Do that all the way around, so we've added three groups, so you're going to add five more groups. Okay, so when you get to your last one, same thing as always, so you're coming out here, you're going to skip over two, go through the next one. And then up into the one above, which is right over here. <laughs> so skip over two, through one, up through one. Pull that through and then pull that really tight. And we have this. So you can keep going if you want, just adding more rows. So you'd add single beads and then the time after that you'd add doubles. Um, but I like it finishing about there so I'm going to stop there so all that's left to do really is to tie knots with your thread so to do that you're going to take your needle and now you need to catch the thread that connects the bead you're coming out of to the next one so I'll take my needle under there and catch that thread so that when I create the loop it knots onto that thread pull it down to create a loop and go through that loop two times Pulling it down slowly and make sure that knot's going to tighten and then move away from the knot before you cut it. Okay, and you can do the same with your tail threads and we'll be finished. So that's the finished chicks, Easter chicks. So this is what they look like. So I've got two cute little chicks in eggs now that my niece is going to absolutely love. <laughs> so these will be for her. So... I hope you've enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Um, I did think about adding little wings up here, so if that's something you wanted to do, then um, yeah, I was thinking about that, but I know that this video is already going to be really long because it was quite a complicated design. So I didn't go ahead and do that in the end, but I like these how they are anyway. So let me know if you make one of these, comment down below anything else you'd like to see, like this video, share, subscribe if you enjoyed to see more of my videos and follow me on Instagram at Hannah. Thanks so much for watching everyone, see you next time, bye!